the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's, hey, I don't it. know about that one. That's that's deep by itself. They wanted us to see from their view. And then you even said that that view wasn't even, they knew that view wasn't true. No, they knew that. Yeah. It was yeah. just a way of skewing the information. Uh, to, to the people. To the people, to the masses. Yeah. To, yeah, to, yeah. To, to not look a certain way. Yeah, don't look at that. Don't look at it. Don't look at that. Uh, Even Satan disguises himself, himself as an angel of light. You know, so. D, 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 uh, giving up a, a different perspective. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the thing is that here, the the, the Genesis three. These are the people who had those two sons that we're going to talk about. Uh, and God told them, he said, "Who? first of all, like we, we stuck on that for a second, but it's basically a spiritual removal. They, they basically saying the presence of God was removed from them, technically, because they ran from the presence of God. And it's interesting that man continues to run from the presence of God, uh, especially when they do wrong. Right, that's what people have to do. Oh, yeah. People like to do things in darkness. Was well, I think in Genesis, uh, I mean John three sixteen was talking about not that that chapter there. He said that man loved darkness rather than light, yeah. so that their deeds will not be you know exposed. Yeah. And, and here, these people, God told them. He said in verse ten and he, you know verse eleven, and he said, "Who told thee that I was naked?" And apparently, it's not the devil that's telling you naked. It's your, your this knowledge that you you acquire of good and evil that you was naked. And then he asked the question because see, what I'm saying is that answer you gave me caused me to ask you to answer this other question. Yeah. Has thou eaten? This is verse eleven, people. As you keeping up, has thou eaten of the tree? Where, at, where, look, look, oh, you got that part of there too? There was, a, there was a direct answer and then there was an answer he gave. The direct answer was yes. <laughs> but the answer he gave, that woman. Which, yeah. Which, I, I, uh, he, he, you know, what he did was exposed the misalignment that, that, that caused him to be in the position he was mm. because he put the woman in the place of God. Yeah. Because God told him not to eat, but the woman gave him the food and said, you know, here. And eat. I did eat. And, yeah. And he did eat. So he, it, he usurped. He, 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 he passed the buck. He, yeah. He yeah. positioned himself lower than what God had put him. And people, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna come off the slide for a second in a second, but I want to show something you just said that if you catch it, I know you caught it, and maybe other people didn't catch it. But look, he asked a question again in verse 11, and he said, and he said, "Who told thee that I was naked?" We got that part right. And we said that comes from our knowledge of good and evil. And then he told us, "Said, has I eaten of the tree?" Now that's the question, brother Addison. But did you you didn't? What I didn't catch you say was. Whereof I commanded thee that thou shall not eat. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You, I'm, I'm saying that's a critical component too, isn't it? Yeah. S A U S something. We we, we want to establish that you did eat. Yeah. He told me you could eat. <laughs> he, he, you could. He told me you could eat anything, right? But yeah. stuff of that tree right there, right? But you you what you what I really wanted. He narrowed down the commandment itself. I commanded he and look people said it, this was a commandment, right? Mm -hmm. Where of what I commanded yeah. thee that thou should not eat. He wanted to make sure that was clearly understood too, right? You you did something. That's why I'm asking you. My point is that brother Asa, he didn't answer that. You, you yeah. see what I'm saying? This because you said there and said he said. 
what, like you said, he went immediately went into the excuse, right? Yeah. That it, it, he said that woman that thou gavest me, and I'm gonna pass it. You gave her to me, and she gave it to me. She and she gave. What is? And the wind said, "The woman who thou gavest to be with me." She gave me of the tree and I did eat. And God said, Dad said, son, I asked you, did you eat of the tree? And then I said, of the tree that I commanded to you not to eat. You are not addressing the answer. I'm talking, it's not the fact that you had it already. I told you not to do that. I got that part. But what did I tell you? Are you, are you tracking? You know how you did when you was in the military. What did I tell you to do? Yeah. It doesn't matter what somebody else told you, people. And now I'm going to come off the slide because I'm going to throw this at people. This is a good point. Who told you? You ready? Check this out. I'm talking. I'm bringing up to modern day and as well as history. Who told you to kill that man? Or to beat him the way they beat him. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, talking, I'm going to go all the way back from the history of man, right? I'm just talking about the history of itself. Who, I gave you 10 commandments anyway, right? Let's talk about this. We're going to talk about when the law came, right? The law, but the laws are out there for a long time, different types of laws. I told you thou should not kill. I told you that, right? Are you tracking where we're coming from? I'm talking about now we're going to talk about people who did the, the slave trade, the people who did slavery, the people who sitting there, cops, and they're, they're killing people, and people killing people. No, I, we, there's no excuse, period. Thou shall not kill. Who told you? You see, what I'm those people that's going to go before God one day. Remember that scripture I said, people said it said, Not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven, except for those who do the will of my Father. People, I, I'm going to change the title. This, this, when I edit this, I'm going to change the title because this is what we've been focusing on. We, we stuck on something for right now. Yeah. Is what did God command you to do? concerning thou shalt not kill thou shalt not commit adultery thou shalt not covet your neighbor's wife or his children or his maid servants or you know thou shalt not bear false witness brother Addison thou shalt not commit thou shalt not be, you remember that I think a lot that one seemed to stick seemed to be people bypass all the time isn't it mm. thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor Who gave you? Can, can that? And can I ask this rhetorical question to you? But I, I like you to maybe you can explain it for people. When we talk about the let's talk about this cultural war that has been going on for centuries, hundreds of years. <laughs> Who told anybody that these commandments that he gave people? were not in effect when you killed people even today matter you a cop or you're a gang member or you just a person and yet you will still profess that you know him who how many people who died in the civil war because i was somebody was talking about that the other day who told you to kill your brother. Who's teaching you now to kill your brother or to hate your brother? Because the verb in the scripture said that he's a hate is a murderer and no murderer has eternal life and bodies in him. Who telling you today to teach your child to hate? Who's telling you today to, to, to go ahead and, and, and lynch somebody or kill somebody? Who in the, in the hospital people? You know, Brother Asin, I was talking, this another thing was bothering me the other day is how is it that the mortality rate of of, of African American women, death at, at birth, giving birth, when everybody's ninety nine percent sane. How could the, you know, the imbalance be there, right? Yeah. So, so anybody who called himself a doctor 
one nurse, just like those are EMTs with Tyree. Remember them? They they didn't. What what they didn't? What they failed to do? Run the aid. Their job. Come on now. <laughs> and I'm what I wonder how many other people from a racial component are not doing their job, and then still think that they're gonna go before God and say, "Look, I did all these great things for you." I I. <laughs> Oh, I, I became a doctor and I did everything to my ability to save the lives of individuals. Except for those people that, you know, don't mean nothing to me. So I should be still good to go because I'm giving you an excuse just like Adam gave, Adam gave an excuse. You know, this woman you gave me. How many people think Brother Isaac going to say the pastor told me? My uh, mama told me. Yeah, they're going to do that. They're going to do it. Everybody, listen to me. You, you're going to do it. You're going to sit there, and I guarantee every last one of you going to sit there and say, my mama told me, my daddy told me, my pastor told me. And that's why he told, I think that's why he telling us in the scripture, in 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show yourself approved unto God. You think they need to read that for it? Do we need to show it to them? Yeah, I think so because I think maybe some of y'all y'all gonna many brothers I think many of them are gonna sit there and believe that they're gonna have an opportunity to go and lie before God. They're just gonna well, feel they're, they're going to skew the uh, the truth. Oh, give me one. Yeah, go huh? huh? Yeah. While he's gone, people, I just want to be able to show the fact is that in 2 Timothy 2.15, for this series, this discussion is talking about for Sunday. I, I, I was trying to get into this culture war between that's still going on uh, with Cain and Abel and trying to reconcile that and say that many of you, I think, think you're going to go to heaven knowing that you have taught your own children to hate people and done bad faith, it's so important for you to study for yourself because so many pastors, so many ministries, so many people, so many, even the people that you love, just keep passing on rhetoric, rhetoric after rhetoric. Because it's, it's 2.15 says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Not approved unto people, but unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. mm. They weren't in Genesis chapter 2, that verse 25, they were naked and they were not ashamed because they had a relationship and they were doing what they were told to do. They became ashamed when? When they violated what God told them not to to do so he said if you study to show yourself approval to God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth because that's what is the issue sometimes people are not dividing the word rightly they divide the word wrongly <laughs> dividing the word of truth wrongly and the reality is that means you have a right way of doing something opposed to the wrong way of doing something so i thought that was that was interesting in itself what we was covering man so far uh and we're gonna wrap it up with the my topic brother addison <laughs> when you come back but everybody um in the edited version because the live version you couldn't hear me at all for the first second but the the uh the topic, and I want to. I'm gonna wrap up with this sex chapter, which is the Cain and Abel culture war. It says right here, we're gonna teach the gospel Yeshua way. And some of the people have asked what Yeshua means. Yeshua means in the Hebrew word, the name of Christ. Christ's name is Yeshua. Yeshua. So that's what we're saying. Uh, so we teach in his way, and that goes with John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, 
or Yeshua said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So therefore, we should teach his way. Amen? And one of the things is we're talking about is Cain and Abel started in Genesis chapter 4. What happened between the first two people born from Adam and Eve and where they had a I, I call it a cultural war. I call it a difference. I call it a conflict. And, and it actually said that they fought one another. Or really, the other one attacked Abel. And he killed him. And, and these were the first two human beings. We're talking about brothers who grew up together. As, as children and they killed each other and that's what we want to talk about the fact is are we are we still doing the same thing in 2023 to include the what happened with Tyree what happened to that happened in 2023 right brother Asa? that that happened in 2023 did also what's going on with the war and conflict between Ukraine and and uh Russia and all the other atrocities that is going on throughout this world, you know? So there's a cultural war. <laughs> we, we just saw a video last, I don't know if I said that to you, where the, uh, there was the, the, some Catholic church, uh, some um, ethnic group called, you know, uh, European, white Europeans were spraying the black face of a girl. Uh, and then using all kind of, you know, slain remarks on that, on, on about black people, you know. So they were doing a black face. And while um, Florida governor wants to sit there and say, I want to move all these things that make uh, your children feel bad. I like to know where the, your children got that information from. To feel bad? No, no, no. The black face thing, right? They, they say it was Black History Month. Did you see that video? It was a news clip. Huh? What do you think? They didn't get that from school. You know that? School don't teach that. Yeah, blackface. Right. They said, Dan told us, said, now that you're going you're gonna to wash my laundry, you know, and the basis saying is, we're going to paint you blackface and then we're going to treat you as if you were a slave. And you're like, wait a minute now. How did you... Of all the things being Black History Month, that that's what you, that's the only thing you can think of about African Americans being slaves? Is, is that what you, you don't want to, you know, think about Black, Black History Month is talking about the contributions that we have done. Mm. You know, it, it, so, so if your mindset, if you, if you, if you're teaching your children, I guess I'm trying to say, if you're teaching your children, if you're not teaching your children, the right way. How do you how do you expect them? Why wouldn't you want the school to teach the right way then? Because you're not teaching them the right way. You're teaching them hate. Hate is not you it's not a, it doesn't happen automatically. It has to be because somebody's teaching them something. You know what I mean? So that, that that's why I'm calling the cultural war. They must stop with killing each other. And and people don't think that it's just a black and white issue. We fight each other. You got history in Europe. Where they fought each other. You got France and England, Germany, and all those things. They fought each other. They were the same color people. You got people in China. One man, what do you call it? One China? How many millions of people was killed in China? Russia. Stalin. How many people were killed? The, the, the killing field in Cambodia. They look the same. So don't think that y'all don't you dare think that a color is is the root cause of of, of of wars of cultural wars it's not if we if everybody in this world was the same color you still have conflict you still find a reason Cain and Abel found a reason well like Cain did anyway right that's what we're going to talk about cultural war in 2023 so I just want to go let's just milk that one chapter and let's close out okay because we talked about it last week, but we didn't actually uh, cover it. 
Okay. Uh, I did talk to the scriptures real quick. We talked last week about Genesis. God made man. He didn't say he made a, a brown man or a white man or a black man. God made man. We're all human beings. And nobody didn't get that. That's what you are. You're human beings. It says right here in Jeremiah 17, 5, thus says the Lord, cursed be the man that trusts in man. Meaning if you trust in your flesh, you trust in another man that's telling you something contrary to the word of God. Just like Eve, just like Cain, I mean, Adam said there and said, this woman you gave me, gave me this fruit. I, I didn't tell Cain, Adam, I did not tell, did we just talk about it, right? I did not tell, I didn't ask you about what that woman did. I asked what you did. I asked what I told you. And now I'm trying to figure why did you do it? And all you want to do is reflect what I told you to do. And that's the same thing here, people. Curse is the man, Jer Jeremiah 17, 5. Curse, thus says the Lord, curse be the man that trusts in man and maketh his arm, his arm, his strength. That's what it means. His, his, make his flesh his arm, his strength. Uh, and who heart departed from God. Just like Adam and Eve, they ran from the presence of God. Just like the children of Israel, they ran from the presence of God. Just like many of you who sit in there, you run from the presence of God and do what you want to do. And still think you're going to go before God and say, well, you know, so-and-so told me. It says, verse 7, blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. That's why would you study self approved people unto God, not unto man. You sit there and you keep doing it over and over again. Just show yourself approved to God who hope is where? In the Lord. And then 1 Timothy 2, 4, because I, I mean, brother, as if, since, I don't know if you know, but sometimes I get little comments on the, the YouTube and stuff, and they sit there and say, they got a problem with John three sixteen. They got a problem with the scripture right here. 1 Timothy 2, 4, who will have all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, which is the word of God. And God's will is for all men to be saved. Will all men get saved? <laughs> Obviously they won't, because the scripture says some people are going to be cast into the lake of fire. But the point is that it's not his will for people to, to not be saved. His will is for all of us to be saved. Hell was created for the devil and angels, not for man. And in fact, the knowledge of truth. Man, you know, they end up the, they end up the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, but it's the truth that made the difference, all right? So we covered that last week. All right, now let's let's go ahead and break this down for us and we'll wrap up with this, this section here, amen? What you got? Genesis 4, 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have got a man from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And she again bare his brother Abel, and yes, Abel was a keeper of sheep. Mm -hmm. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. Okay. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Yes, sir. And Abel, he also brought of the first thing of his flock and of the fat thereof. Mm -hmm. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Okay. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wrong, and his countenance failed. Now, you want to break that down for us, though? <laughs> what, what, what's going on here? Well, obviously, to, to, to begin with, this is a time that God had put forth, I, I believe so, that he had mm -hmm. taught Adam and Eve mm -hmm. uh, about uh, offerings right. and sacrificing yeah. for, for the sins. Yes, sir. And uh, and then and, and in that time, I believe no different than what God had spoke to them about that tree. He told them about how this offering should be. Yes, sir. And uh, that there had to be 
blood to cover the sins. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so that I'm pretty sure there was a process and a way of doing this. Yes, sir. One, it would seem that one, Abel, followed the will of God and did the offering that God would respect because he did it according to his will. Right. It that also means in process of time, though, right? That yeah. means that Cain must have been doing the right during time. Yes. Right? He, he had to have done it before unless his father was doing it for him. Exactly. You there know you what I'm saying? Unless yeah. Adam was doing it for him up to this point, mm -hmm. it was being done in accordance with the will of God. Exactly. Uh, but now there is a offering that is of the first fruits. Of, of the field of the harvest but that wasn't the time right i believe there who knows there may have been a time when men were were to eat of the fruit of the garden the fruit of you know of, of knowledge of good and evil but mm -hmm. it wasn't time it wasn't time it wasn't divine time <laughs> you weren't ready for it yeah yeah so uh there was that mm -hmm. um and, and also something that stood out, and this is an Adam to his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain. And she said, I have begotten a man from the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when God put Adam to sleep and took of his body mm -hmm. and formed Eve, but after he ate, he said, that woman that you gave me. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. noticed that. Uh -huh. You know, they knew that it 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 it, it came from him, but Ooh. it was of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so no different what Eve knew that this child came from her, but it was from the Lord. It's from the Lord, yeah. Good point. Um, don't know the, the time. The, the age difference between these brothers. Nope. Um, so we don't know uh, how, we just how, know that, much, yeah. how much older Cain was than Abel, but we just know that, that Cain was older than Abel. Exactly. He was, he, he probably helped raise the boy too, didn't he? Yeah. So mm -hmm. he had to have known the process that was put in place by God for yeah. them. To perform these sacrifices, if if Abel knew, then we must believe that Cain knew. Cain knew. If, 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 if the second if the second child knew what to do. Yeah. 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 Oh. Um, so across the time, he decided to do something different. Yeah. So because his offering had no respect he became wrong his, his right his countenance failed and yeah would look up that was that continent countenance. Countenance. well i mean i can i can bring that up real quick let me see here this is the day that the lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.